Hey everybody. I'm a few minutes early. Again, I like to be early. I'm just down here early so everybody else can kind of catch up. If you're here, give me a thumbs up or say hey hey or something. Because this is our first time on this page that we're doing this class. Ah, here y'all are. Y'all are starting to come on in to the art party. Guess what? Today is, I just found out through Facebook posts that today is National Art Day. Wow, we get to party on National Art Day together. Hey Bridget, hey Carly, hey Jerry, Peyton, Misty, hey, hey. Oh, you're my beautiful sister. I love you. I'm so glad you join me every week. You're a good sport. <laughs> so I hope y'all had a good Easter. Um, ours was... Hey, Rebecca from Oklahoma. Awesome. I'm glad you're here. Ours was fun. Um, of course, this was an odd Easter for everybody because we're all quarantined, but we got to make the best out of it. Philip made hot wings. Yes, my husband cooked dinner, and I told him, I said, I think this is the first time in my whole entire life I've ever had hot wings for Easter, but y'all, they were good. They were really good. So, we're doing all kinds of new things in this quarantine. Um... Hey, Becky from Lakin in Missouri. Another exciting milestone in quarantine, y'all. For those of you that don't know, Iris walked for the first time on Easter Day. I was so excited. So, I've got a little toddler going on now. She's not walking, like, all the time. She's still just kind of stumbling around. She loves to dance. She always has, so she'll stand there. And she'll dance if she sees some music. And then she'll take a couple steps. It's adorable. <laughs> hey, Casey from Colorado. Hi, Michelle. Hi, James. Natasha and her crew. Tanya, what's up, sister? All right. Y'all ready, Freddy's, for this art porté? Um, my name is Jessica Burgess. I am the artist at Jesse Burgess Art. Hey, Dana. Hey, Addie, happy birthday. From Emma. Emma wants to say happy birthday to you, Addie. But, um, anyways, I am also um, the teacher in Art and Pajamas. If you have found your way to this page, welcome. Congratulations. Y'all have made it here. Um, we had to move everything over here because um, our group is so huge. I was expecting like 50 people at max. We are up to 3.4 thousand painters. 3.4 thousand in three weeks. That is awesome. So just so that things don't get too crowded and y'all can find my videos better, we have swapped this over to here. And yes, you can still watch a replay. Um, there will be a thing at the top of my page that says videos. Very easy to navigate, very easy to find. Please do me a favor though. Please, if you are not a member of Art and Pajamas, try to get into that group. I'll, well, somebody will prove it for me. Post your work when you're finished. We'd love to see it. Everybody is enjoying seeing all these, all these paintings that you're doing. And another thing guys, if I'm not commenting on your photo, it's not because I don't want to, because I do. I absolutely love them all. But I have realized that if I comment on everybody's, I'm on my phone all the time. But I see you, and you're doing great. Keep it up. Hey, hey, painting with my sister on FaceTime in Iowa. Love that. That's awesome. Hey, Rebecca. Hey, Jennifer or Nikki. Um, all right, guys, y'all ready to get going? Here we go. If you are near here, my canvas is a little Debbie box. We are quarantined, so we don't necessarily have all these supplies. So this is another form of you finding your creativity. You go find something to paint on, um, pieces of wood that you can cut up. If you, 
I don't suggest you some power tools if you don't know how. Maybe get some help from somebody, but if you don't know how, there's t here's to you. Um, painted with my sister, too, in California, Jessica. I like your name. <laughs> there's so many of us. But, um, anyways, so here's my canvas. It's um, a piece of the inside of a little Debbie box because that is what I have. It is not huge. Your canvas may be huge, and that's okay. Um, you can paint on paper. If you don't have paint, just draw with me. Hey, Christy. Hey, Brenda. Hey, Hunter. Kaylee. Um, Y'all can just draw with me if you don't have paint. Um, paint. This stuff is like 50 cents at Walmart. Walmart.com. Um, don't go out and buy your supplies, y'all. When this is over, y'all can find these things. Very easy to find. Okay, so here's what we're doing. Hey, Addison, Addie, I love you, I miss you. Um, here is Porter Pig. He is just this fun little whimsical pig, and I've had so many requests for this little guy. So, and today, this one is Porter. I'm going to be painting Patsy. The only difference, y'all, you can paint Porter or Patsy is instead of Patsy having a bow tie, he, she is going to have um, a bow on top of her head. So, I'm going to set this back here, and y'all make sure that you have your pencil. Um, your pencil is your best friend, as many of you know that have been with me from the beginning. You draw it, and then when you are finished with your drawing, I want you to look at your, your canvas and say, okay, do I like the way this, this went? If you do, then you continue to paint, because if you don't, you can erase, because we have erasers with pencils. Does the pig have a name? Yes, the pig's name is Porter. This is Porter. I'm painting Patsy. <laughs> yes, let your mail, mail carrier bring you supplies. <laughs> Tanya's my mail carrier. Thank you, Tanya. My favorite mail carrier. Well, she's not my mail carrier, but she's like my sister. And she's a mail carrier in my area. Hey, Carolyn. You and Brady are painting. That's great. Okay. All right, so here we go. I have a Sharpie so that y'all can see. Um, Marshall, hey, buddy. I'm excited you're here, too. Y'all, do not draw your pigs with a Sharpie. Y'all are using pencil. I'm using Sharpie just because it's easier for you to see. Okay, so here we go. Y'all ready? You get your pencils, and we're going to start out with Porter or Patsy's ears. These ears right here. Okay, so I'm going to go to the top of my canvas, do that, okay, same thing, other side. Two tops of your ears, that's what you have right now, okay. And now we're gonna get go to the top of that ear and you're gonna pull down just like that. Same thing, times two, other side. If your whole ear is showing, that's great, that's fine. If it's not, that's okay too. That just means that your portrait's closer than somebody else's. All right, so we've got our ears drawn. Now we're gonna move on to the top of our, our Porter or Patsy. their head. Remember, if it's wonky, it's okay. When you're finished with this, you're going to be like, wow, I, told, I did that. There's there's no, I can't. You don't allow to say I can't. You're just not allowed. Because you can do it. Alright, so we have the top of Porter or Patsy's head. And now we are about to do the chubby cheeks. Okay, so very easy. 
Casey got that going on. There we go. And so then you just finish that and you round it out. You just keep rounding it. And then until you meet in the center. Now you have this big old chubby bottom of your little piglet's face. You have your ears. You have the top of your head. Hey, Katie. Oh, yes, guys. I meant to tell y'all, Katie's husband painted with his iPad last week. That was fantastic. Good job. Um, that's something fun to do. If y'all want to, I think you download an app. Maybe, Katie, is there an app that y'all had for that? Maybe you can share that with us so that they can know which one y'all used. All right. So now we're going to go with our big old piglet nose. So it's just kind of like a little hump. You're still on your first ear, Nicole. That's okay. Don't fret. Just take your time. Okay. And now I'm going to round out my nose. Okay, Katie said it was something from Adobe. She's going to try to find it for us. All right. If you are caught up with me, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Say me, you know, just anything to, to let me know. If you're not, again, don't worry, guys. You're winning at this. I promise you. You're doing good. Don't stress out. This is not a stressful thing. Somebody's giving me a thumbs up. Something else that I love so much is people are people are making this into a family event. I love, love, love that. Brianna's finished. Good deal. Um, I have seen I've seen pictures of families, y'all. Dads, y'all dads are getting in there and doing this. Husbands, grandparents with your grandkids. What a special time. And today, you can say we had a paint party on our day. Oh, Jenny, you can totally do the replay. Do that later. Carolyn's finished. All right. So, y'all are finished with this? We're gonna move on to eyeballs. Okay, so here is a closer look of Porter or Patsy's eyeballs. They're kind of, they're just like a line and then a hump, okay? Yes, please show me the one that you did, Jenny. Terry's saying that you need to. I want to say it. All right. So here's our line. That's the bottom of an eyeball. And then we're going to go over here. We're going to do the same exact thing times two. And so, oh, that one's higher than this one. It's okay. It'll turn out. It's your unique pig. So, okay. And then you're going to connect your line from this side to this side. You're going to go up and then down. Same thing. Connect from this side to this side, up, and then down. Looks like a chubby piglet from Winnie the Pooh. I love chubby, chubby piglets. Okay, so if y'all are doing, I'm gonna get my pencil because Um, I'm doing a bow at the top. Not all of you are doing a bow. Not everybody. Um, Y'all do a bow if you're doing Patsy. And I got Patsy from Patsy Klein. <laughs> so, and it started with a P. So, okay. Let's see. Alright, so I got my pencil and I'm doing a bow. So, you're just going to do a circle. If you're doing a bow. If you're doing Patsy. 
And remember, this is going to overlap. Oh, Karen, that's a good idea. You go ahead and you do your flower crown, sister. That'll be great. Now you have the, um, the knowledge of how to do that. And what's so great about that also is that you can play around with it and change it up if you want to, your flower crown. I am just here. I'm here for all of you creative people to help to find your original self. And that makes me happy. So, here's my bow on top. If you are doing a bow tie for Porter, you just draw a circle, a triangle, and a triangle on the bottom. Just like so. Beth, are you just now on here, sister? You gonna paint with us, this pig? Okay. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and draw, we'll draw the, um, the little nose, nose holes. Let's see. Um, let me see, here's what Katie used. She also has an apple, or her husband also has an apple pencil, which helped too. Not so necessary fingers work. Thank you for sharing this. And Katie has an app. I mean, a, she has a link, y'all. Download it right here. So, that would be something good for y'all. Can you see the bow again? Yes. Of course. Here's the bow for the top of the head. Here's the bow tie. Yeah, Beth, you can paint with us later. If you are messaging me, I'll get back with you guys. There we go. Okay. So, now we're going to do the nose holes, nostrils. There's one. Kind of like a little teardrop. Procreate is great for art on the iPad too. Thank you, Carrie. All right. Now, we need to look at our pigs and we need to say, is this what I want my pig to look like. Do I have a little bit of mess ups that I can fix up? If I do, I'll erase and I'll fix those. Now is the time for that because um, we are about to get our paints out. I'm going to set her right there. Over there. And I'm going to get my paint palette together. I'm using a paper plate. This is old dried paint just so that I don't waste another plate. Your paint goes a long way. Um, you don't need tons and tons and tons of paint. Any color you choose. That is a frequently asked question. What colors do I do? I do? Y'all, this is yours. This is your creation. I want y'all to hang it in your house. I want you to be happy with it. If you want to paint a blue pig, by all means, paint you a blue pig. If you want to paint an orange pig, paint, a blue, paint an orange one. We're getting our palettes together for those of you that are just in with us. Black and white are usually a staple. Those are pretty important. Oh, I'm doing purple again. Oh, I have purple. Y'all, today I'm supporting my friend Jim Weaver. He's a local artist. I am not only an artist, but I love to collect art too. Jim is one of my favorites. Favorite, favorite. This is, some of you may know, his dog Cracker. I am lucky enough to have one of these awesome shirts. But um, that is what he is known for. This is his style. He paints on wood. Um, he travels. He does art shows with his daughter. Um, they're just... They're super cool. 
But he paints his life like as a child. He painted his dog, Cracker. And um, y'all, this dog is like a famous dog. I, I even have one of these hanging. Hey, Kelly. In my um, house. Kelly knows how much I love Jim Weaver. Jim Weaver is an awesome, awesome man. Awesome artist. Okay. Does everybody have their paint palettes together? Ta-da! Here is our drawing. Hey, Heather. Megan. All right, friends. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and paint our backgrounds. Y'all ready, Freddy's? So the background on um, Porter is, I'm gonna show y'all this little ombre technique yellow and orange down here. So I think I'm gonna do on um, Patsy, I'm gonna choose purple and blue. So, here we go. I'm gonna start out at the top and we're gonna do just like every other one. We're gonna outline. If you're here for the first time, I encourage you to go back. We have lots of other videos and usually you can learn something, something new in every one. We don't have lots of other videos. Megan, that's okay, that's cool. Y'all can watch it later on. So we're just outlining our little pigs. Hey Heather. So back to Jim, y'all. I met him at a local charity art auction years ago. And um, he actually bid on one of my paintings at that auction and he won it. Um, it was, I don't know if y'all saw it or not, but it's the one of um, W.C. Handy. So he said he and his wife have that in their home. They are also art collectors. All of us artists, we really like to support each other. But um, I'm very honored, honored, honored that he has, he and his wife have that. They are just a sweet, sweet family. Um, that's the thing. You just find, you know, there's artists that you just, you just fall in love with their personality and their story. And that's what makes original art so special. It's each of it tells a story. When it's like mass produced and y'all get that, you know, we buy those at like Walmart or Kirkland's. They're beautiful, don't get me wrong. But um, they just, they don't have that unique story like original art does from, from artists. And plus you're supporting a family when you do that. Okay, so now I still have purple on my brush. But I'm going to do the rest of mine blue. So I'm just going to pull down... See, I've got blue and purple. And y'all don't have to do this color. Y'all can choose any other color you want to. We are taking our time and we are relaxing. If you are, have too much um, paint in one spot, you use your brush and you just smooth it out. You just pull it. What not to do, do not get your brush and go, Arr. No, don't do that. It's gonna mess up, mess up your brush. It flows better when you just smooth it out. Smooth it out. All right, when you have your background finished, give me a thumbs up. Brandy. 
Hey, Viking. All right, now I'm gonna set my brush in my water. This is what I'm using for my water today. It is a recycled apple juice jar. This is so that you can swap, when you swap out your colors, you put your brush in your water. I'm just gonna let it hang out in my water right now because I'm gonna wait and give y'all time to catch up. Remember, when you're finished, give me a thumbs up. Y'all are all doing really good. I cannot wait to see these. Y'all are all really quiet today. Does anybody have any questions? Even just any kind of random question? All right, Brianna is finished. We blend the other two colors together. I'm just gonna leave mine like this because that's what I like for it to, to look like. If you wanna do more blending, you totally can. Absolutely. Becky, so far so good, everything's going well. Um, as with y'all can probably tell, I'm trying to catch up, I'm trying to draw everyone. So it's okay, Casey. Painting all the way in Cleveland, Texas. Awesome. But everything I do is impromptu. Terrible with technology. <laughs> I know y'all can tell. So um, there may be like breaks. We just call those commercial breaks. Um, you know, we just kind of go with the flow. We just wing it. That's pretty much what I do at life. I just kind of wing it. This is our first time. Oh, Isabella, I bet you're an awesome, awesome painter. Did you draw the pig to start? Yes, Paula, definitely did. Um, so, if I am wrong, somebody please correct me. But I believe if you are just now joining in and you want to watch the replay, that, um, thank you for answering, Tanya, that you can, it'll, when I'm finished with this video, it'll say, like, video is ended, um, something about it's going to upload. You have to give it a little bit. Am I right, guys? Hopefully. But it'll be there. Don't worry. It'll be there. For sure, for sure. Tanya is great at helping me answer questions, too. Thank you, Tanya. I really do. I really do need some help all the time. <laughs> I got a lot going on. Okay. So, I've got a lot of thumbs up. And now we're going to move on. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna paint my bow at the top of Patsy's head. You can paint your bow tie. Good, good deal, Paula. All right, Patsy's bow on her head is going to be yellow. Just so bright and cheerful. There's my bow. Now your bow is not gonna have these little lines in it, just because mine does. Because I'm I've used a sharpie. If you do have a little pen of pencil line showing through, it's okay. Like if it bothers you that bad, like super duper bad, you can just put on thicker layers of paint. And how to do that is you make sure that one layer is dry before you start the other, because then you'll just have like this, oh, this mess. Okay, 
So, I have got my base coat on my bow together, and now I'm going to rinse my brush off. We're going to come back and do a little details to that later. Rinse your brush off like a tornado in your water. Tap it and make sure that you are drying it very well, because if it is wet, you will have runny paint. It'll be very runny. Okay, so now, if you do not have pink paint, do you know what colors make pink, red, and white. So, you just start, you mix your red and white, mix it, mix it, mix it, till you get to however you would like, whatever you would like for that color to be. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. Right now, for the inside of my ears and for my nose, I'm mixing a little bit of white and a little bit of red. Do y'all see my brush? I'm going to show you all this with my hand because Tanya taught me this trick in video one. <laughs> when we painted our Ezra Bunny. See? There's white and there's red on this brush. Alright, I'm going to go in and I'm going to paint the inside of my ears. Times two. There we go. All right, and I'm gonna do my nose the same color. Cause you're gonna want your nose to be a different shade than your pig. If you want that pig's nose to be lime green, that's fine. Do that pig's nose lime green. You go for it. You're going to paint around your little nostrils. Look, if you accidentally get some paint in your nostril, don't, don't stress. We can fix that. You leave it be and let it dry. And here in a little while, you will realize that you can go over that. There we go. So now, friends, we have our nose painted. And we have the inside of our ears. Okay, I'm not going to rinse off my brush just because um, it's a very similar color that I'm using. This is the pink that I'm using. I'm going to dip it in white. And then I'm going to dip in my pink. And now what I want you to do is I want you to paint your whole entire pig. Everything that's left except for the eyeball. If you pull a little bit of paint in from your um, background, don't worry. That just adds to the whimsy of this. All right, I have got um, my ears painted. Now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna dip in white and then I'm gonna dip in pink. And I'm going to go all over. If y'all hear um, Elmo in the background, Iris is back there watching Sesame Street again. She's not really watching it. She's also playing with her toys. She's been a good girl. Remember, you just get your, your brush and you help it to flow. I keep going back, guys, and I keep adding white and pink to my brush. All right. 
And so for the little, the cheeks, the little chubbiness, let me show y'all, you're just gonna do brush strokes like so. See those? It's just kind of like little um, fuzzy hairs around your pig. When you are finished with your pig, please let me know. Kind of the inside. I'm just gonna keep on. I'll just keep adding, just just because I'm waiting on you guys. And remember, some of our canvases are larger than others, so it's gonna take you a little bit longer. Don't you worry. Now, if you're doing Porter the Pig, of course, you're going to have to paint around your bow tie at the bottom. I don't know what that reminds me of. That, I think it's the, is it Johnny Cash that sings Hey Porter? Or, I think so. You might know that. But that's what goes on in my head every time I say Porter the Pig is Hey Porter, Hey Porter. <laughs> that's, I'm not going to sing it for y'all because I am not a singer. <laughs> Most definitely not. All right, so here's mine. Hey, Regina, do I have anybody that's finished? Give me a thumbs up. Say I'm done. I'm gonna let my brush <clears throat> hang out in my paint water. Is anybody on here a pig owner? Do y'all have pigs? There's a love, so maybe, yeah, thumbs up. There are a few of you that have pigs. Oh, you're very welcome. It It's a lot of fun for me too. I love painting with you guys, I really do. But um, I don't have a pig. I remember as a kid, my daddy buying this pig and we raised him. He got pretty big and pretty sure that most of you know what happened next. I don't remember much about it though. Cows and ducks. <laughs> awesome, Andrea. Thank you, thank you so much. I love cows and ducks too. My son Avery, he's been wanting ducks. We have chickens. Yes, Katie, of course. <laughs> oh my gosh, Katie, y'all have all those pigs up there. So you you can like display your pig at Pop's Barbecue now. Pop's Barbecue will have a Katie Davis original. Y'all should go see that. I'm going to look for that when I go. The next time. A salon client that owns a pig. They're so cute. They are so adorable. I love, like I said in the last video, I love all animals. Um, I'm so bad about just like all of a sudden being like, Hey, honey, I've, I really want this peacock, or I've brought home this baby goat, and I hope that's okay. And he's like, guess we'll build a pen. He's a good sport. Super, super good sport. Puts up with me and my animal shenanigans. All right. So this one's not going to take us very long, guys. The next part's going to be like the funnest part. I'm typing my brush around. I'm going to find me a new brush. Do I want to outline with this? Negative. Negative, negative, negative. 
That's not a good one. I know. Tanya. Do I want to outline with this? No, that's crazy of me. This is a palette knife. I've had a few people request that um, maybe one day we do a video of us doing one of my original paintings in like my original style and I think that would be fun if y'all are up for watching that it'll be fun okay so I've got my outline brush ready if your brush was um, skinny and it's easy to outline with and whatnot just continue on with that one. I'm having to go through all, all kinds of paintbrushes. Y'all, there is a highlighter in my paintbrush thing. Now, I'm helping y'all paint. I need one of y'all to help me do a tutorial on how to organize. I'm so bad. It's awful. It gets on my, my own nerves. But if, if somebody could help me out with tips and tricks for organization, please, please, please help me do that. Okay, here we go. Now, we're going to get our black and we are going to move on to our eyeballs. Got one eyeball going on here. There's one. You, you have an organized craft room. So jealous. Marshall says it's okay. Oh, Marshall, thank you. That's very sweet of you. There we go. We have two eyeballs going on, my friends. We are not rinsing our brushes because we are still using our black. And we're going to go in and fill in those little nostrils. Those little nose holes. There's one. There's two. Look! We have eyes and we have nostrils now. Alright, I'm still going to keep the black on my brush. This is where the fun part begins. I'm going to go through and you're just going to kind of outline your pig. Outlining my patsy. sure if y'all can hear my rooster out there but he is just a crowing away he wanted to make sure that y'all knew he was here my neighbors and my friend my neighbor that is my friend also has chickens and our roosters like talk to each other all day long it's either they're out trying to outdo each other or they're just chit-chatting up saying these are my girls you barely ever like I don't know but they like compete they talk, compete, whatever they do all day. All right. So, let's go ahead and do our little mouse. Y'all see this? There's a little part of a smile. I'm going to go over here. There's another part. 
okay? So you're gonna get your brush and this is gonna be very fast, friends. Because if you think too hard, um, you might mess it up. There's that. We're doing this big O small. Here we go. There's a part of a smile. Okay, now I'm going to color this in. There you go. So it's kind of like, a, it looks like a laughing pig. I dig it. I dig the happiness. Okay, and so you have your, your faces on there. And so now we're going to go ahead and outline our noses. These big old piggy noses. Alright, so we have a nose and we have a mouth, we have eyeballs, and we have outlines on the rest of our pig. Um, Guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dip my brush into the white now. So it's just like a little bit of gray added to that. And I'm going to go underneath my eyeballs and I'm just going to add just like little fuzzy details. Y'all see that? Just a little bit fuzzy details going down. Let's see. Here we go. So this is a little bit lighter than that side. It's okay. If I want to even it up, I'll just go back and even that up. Okay. And then you're going to want to outline your bow tie or your, um, your head bow. There we go. So that's what we're doing now. Okay. So, friends, do you see how Porter has a little bit, there's a little bit of blue right there? I'm gonna add that. So, what I need to do is make sure that we're, we're rinsing our brushes off. Rinse, 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 rinse. And draw that off. If you want to do brown, if you want to do green, um, you can. Doesn't have to be blue. All right. So I'm gonna dip this in my blue, and then here I go. I'm highlighting. Um, there we go. This is Patsy, and she's got some blue in her eyeballs. Now I'm not gonna need this blue anymore, so I'm gonna take it off of my brush, which is taking off of your brush is dipping it in your water, of course, guys, and rinsing that off. Okay, we're gonna have our light reflection in our eyeballs. Do y'all remember this important tip? Easy, easy. Um, pokey polka dots, which I call pokey spots because that's what I like to call them. I'm using the back of my brush. I'm dipping in my white paint, and there's a light reflection. Boop. Boop. Two of them. That's it. Easy peasy. Make sure you rinse the or you wipe the back of your brush off because when you turn around, you're going to get it all on your hand. Okay. So now I'm going to do my white highlights to places. Here we go. All right, friends. If you are finished with your pig, that's great. That's wonderful. You be finished with that. Um, now this is the fun part where all of them are just unique. We add our own little details and um, do whatever we're feeling at this moment. So I think I'm going to add some like purple. Do 
to Patsy. Hmm, maybe some orange. I'm gonna give her bow some orange stripes also. And then I'll turn my brush around and give her bow some orange polka dots. Here we go. All right, make sure you draw that off after you do that. I'm going to swap it out and I am feeling like adding some green. Remember, this is all up to you. This is what you want your pig to look like. This is just the fun, funkiness, your design. I've added green. I'm gonna do a little, just a little zigzags of black in some places. Maybe some red. Here we go. All right, friends, I am finished with my Patsy Pig. Can you show up close? Yes. There's the close on the eyeballs. Is that a good one? Another way, Kira, is when you're finished with this, you can go back and look at the reference photo that I had posted from yesterday. That way you can just get like a good visual you know, up close. Okay, so we are not officially finished until we sign our names. Please sign your name on all of your work and put your date on the back of it. So that way you will know, hey, I did this and oh yeah, we were quarantined back in 2020. And this way, everybody will know this is yours. I signed mine, Jesse. And remember, it's hard. I know it's hard to um, sign your name with paint. So if you want to, you may use a Sharpie. Um, make sure that your whole entire canvas is um, dry. Because if it's not dry, then um, you will get Sharpie mix up, mess up. Like it'll ruin your Sharpie. Right. Y'all can keep playing with these add things let me see them i'm glad that you painted with me today i'm so proud of you remember you're winning at life totally are but um please share your work to art and pajamas um hashtag quarantine heart um quarantine art or art and pajamas share that to the group for us all to see i love you guys and thank you so much so 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 much for doing this with me again i will see you all next week hopefully Bye.